The sympathetic skin response or the SSR test can be found in the advanced testing folder. Start the test and select the protocol. We have defined five protocols. The first two are based on a single channel. So we can record the response from the hand or from the foot. The bottom three protocols use a two channel recording. We can record simultaneously from hand and foot or we can do a bilateral study by recording from hand or a bilateral study recording from foot. For the purpose of illustration, we will record from the hand. Select the side for recording, click on OK. Observe the monitor trace. We would like it to be as flat as possible, indicating that the patient is completely relaxed. Increase the stimulus intensity. This should be sufficient to cause slight discomfort. Usually we know this intensity level based on the intensity levels required in a nerve conduction study. We'll wait till the baseline is nice and flat and then deliver one single stimulus. And we can see the response in the monitor trace area. At the end of the sweep, the trace is transferred in the left side window. We can measure the latency of this response by placing a marker on it. I will click on the marker toolbar and place the marker 1 at the onset. This can be adjusted as necessary. And the onset latency is 1.5 seconds roughly. If we wanted to measure the amplitude, we can place marker 2 at its peak. And the amplitude of this response is 724 microvolts. In this subject, we have a very nice sympathetic skin response. However, if we fail to record a response, we can indicate this by pushing the no response function key. Notice in the result table, the measurements of latency and amplitude are removed and the cells are replaced by the phrase NR for no response. We can restore the measurements by pushing the no response function key. Having completed the test, we can exit by pushing the gray triangle key.